Okay, that is actually a lot of damage being done. Greetings, you human equivalents of the secret third way to say tomato, and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies with me, Alathrix, and of course, welcome to the beginning of a brand new campaign, this time in the old-fashioned episodic format. After doing a quick poll over on Twitter, it seems like this is the more popular way of doing this, and honestly, I completely agree. This way, I can showcase the designs a bit more, and ultimately, hopefully make a little bit more sense of the entire campaign. And so we begin our brand new conquest. We are going to be Lathtopia, and we are going to be using this type of flag this time, the cannon, plus 50% cannon damage and plus 30% reload time. This thing is gonna pack a serious punch and hopefully do enough damage to break through pretty much all of the early game armors. So this time, less economy, more brutal warfare, and making friends the good old fashioned way with a show of superior force. Actually, a couple of other things really quickly before we get into the game itself. I was originally tempted to go with the Eagle version first because this way shots are more accurate, but I think the cannon with extra damage will be a bit more efficient. Now, the plus 30% reload time, I assume that is a negative as in it takes longer to reload. If that's the case, it's still worth it because it means you're using less ammo to do more damage, which is a big deal with these craft where ammo is very expensive and very, very explosive. Another thing is we are going to be playing in hard mode and we're going to be going with the huge map size. Now, my lovely tomatoes, let's get going. And so begins our journey near the ocean and pretty much in the very center of the map. So straight away, I can see a few things I've not seen before, like the giant land anemone. Anemone. Is that how you say that word? Either way, it's the giant tentacly thing. We have a crashed wasp nest. We have no positives? We have brigands over there stealing our income as well. We have, okay, some actual positive. We have incense, minus unrest, and plus 20% income from trade treaties. So that's something at least. There's some giant spiders over there. Ooh, interesting. Semi-tame giant hives are regularly harvested here, producing a crop of honey. Oh, that is insanely good. Okay, so one of our neighbors has things we want. A population center over there, making people cheaper. Oh, and that is why I really want the Turtle Dove Graveyard. That will allow you to use the shell armor, which is not only just good armor, it also floats by itself, making things a lot cheaper. Okay, we are not in the best position. Let's have a quick look at this. Okay, that's a pretty nice uh, vehicle, though. Wow. Three chambers, two ammunition stores. This thing is expensive. I might just send that straight against the brigands and see what happens. Or the wasp nest. So the wasp nest is weird. The, the wasp nest sends out wasps, which you just have to survive, and they'll board you. And then if you can survive that, you win. Okay, I've really got to consider that. But first of all, let's take a quick look see at tech. So one of the things I really want is over here, the cannon reload time. So this makes reloading faster, and that will offset the negatives we have currently. Wasp killer marines is what that jumps into afterwards. Or safer cannons, which obviously won't be what we choose. Grenades, aim and range is increased. Honestly, grenades are pretty good early on as well. Just because we do have the cannon bonus doesn't mean cannons are the only weapons we can ever use. But then down here are all the extra building things, which I think are absolutely fantastic. So if I went with this, I wouldn't be getting anything immediately that we want. The ammo storage would be nice, but this doesn't go on to any other tech, which is obviously a problem. Uh, those guns are actually pretty nice. That goes to turrets, which obviously don't count as cannons. We'll definitely not go with the with the turrets, though. We'll be trying to go with cannons. So heavy cannon is here. So straight away, Imperial Cavern, cannon. Medium steel armor, extra sword damage. And this one is heavy wooden armor, shipyards. We can build shipyards elsewhere. Okay, let's go with the Imperial Cannon. Let's try and research that first of all. And I'll send you against the crashed wasp nest. Hey everyone, Future Lathrix here, just to say a few quick things before we get into the video properly. First of all, a massive thank you to everyone who supported the recent full playthrough, the likes, the comments, and honestly, the warm wishes towards the game were absolutely heartwarming, and I am so glad, after such a long time, this game had such a warm reception returning to the channel. And secondly, a huge thank you to everyone on Twitter who participated in the poll, which decided this is going to be an episodic format going forwards, possibly with some full playthroughs here and there in the coming few months. Now, one final thing I need to say is, originally, 
originally I intended to have a second video of this out before the end of this year, but sadly there has been a water pipe exploding in my kitchen for the last day, and that's where all of my time and effort has gone, just before returning to the family for the holidays, so that video has had to be delayed. The video will be returning very, very early in the new year, so don't worry, part two will be coming out, but maybe with a slight delay to it. A massive apology there, but sometimes household drama just happens. So with that, a huge thank you to all the support, and back into the game itself. Conquering the world, one episode at a time, with glorious cannons. To our south, we have an evil conqueror. To our direct north, we have a cooperative, which is great, so I'll definitely send a delegation to you to increase our reputation. This empire is craven, easily frightened and bullied, which is great, because I want Honestly, a lot of their stuff. What about you over there? Honourable, so you're protective of your reputation. And then finally, next to us is cooperative. So overall, only a one particularly hostile empire. How about this one over here with the shells? A conqueror. Okay, hopefully these two will just fight it out then. So you, I don't really want to attack you. You have some stuff I want to attack myself, but we can do that without attacking you directly. So diplomacy... We're doing that. Can we make a trade treaty? Fantastic. And can I receive some money from you? Nope, because you can't afford it. That's fine. Lovely, and they received our delegation. Let's attack the wasps and then I'll make a new craft. Because one weakness I'm seeing of this thing is it's very, very, very slow. Yeah, so with this, all that's going to happen is the wasps will attack and then that's it. We just need to wipe them out. We can shoot them down with the rifles, so we did do a little bit of damage to them on the way in. Hopefully we have enough people to fight them off. Yeah, we were a large enough vessel for that to be absolutely fine. We got 400 research. Nice. The last time that happened, I just got some uh, money. Okay, then let's design our first new craft then. So obviously what we really want is just cannons. We could build a, um, we could build a land ship. No, because cannons can't fire up very well. Okay, let's build our own ship then. Our current ship is very powerful, but what I want is one with a bit more speed to it and a bit cheaper. So obviously we're just going to go with cannons, just like the other one. So the choice is between a suspendium chamber and just our glorious tanks. I think for the first ship we're going to have probably tank. So I also want this to look decent, so I'll make sure the outside looks better than just this random curve. What other weapons do we have available? I mean, having a single grenade might be nice, and a single musket. So we may be replacing two of the cannons. One, one with a musket or rifle, one with the grenades. Makes it a bit more general purpose, and honestly, the grenades are just so nice early on. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to replace the uh, top cannon. Place that with a rifle. Or maybe with a musket instead. I don't really know which one I'd rather have. The rifle's a bit longer range. Let's go with that. Okay, again, I'll make sure in, in, in um, decorations to make this look a little bit better. So we have that there. Then I'm thinking maybe two balloons attached, because I think that'll look nice. So you have like two balloons like this. Attach them to the main points. That would be a lot cheaper. So one thing I didn't mention earlier, but maybe future Lathrix did, is that now I have turned off rapid commands, which means the amount of bridges and everything else is actually incredibly important. The more of them you have, the more commands you can give in any given set of time. So right now, we can give one command every three seconds, things like aimed fire, to move from place to place, and this also applies to the AI. It makes small nimble vessels with a decent command structure very, very able to outplay much larger vessels, whilst at the same time makes, well, Decisions a bit more important, honestly. Another thing I might want is the crow's nest. But I've got it there. You know what? I'm going to completely change everything I've just done. So what I'm going to do is keep the centerpiece. I'm going to have a bottom and top section instead. I have built something similar to this in the previous video, and I'm going to try and make it a bit better. So I want this thing to be quick. So put a large sail there, then maybe a small sail there. Yeah, I think it'll be alright. 
then the weapons will go on the underside, then a small cockpit on the top, which will also have the crow's nest. Not sure how to do the front just yet, we'll see as we put things together. For once, I'll remember to add a fire extinguisher. There we go. Okay, two corridors there. I think it'll look nice if we have some struts here connecting it to the balloon rather than having it all completely connected. So on top then, going to have the quarters, the bridge, Okay, this kind of coming together how I expected it to, honestly, which is nice. Quarters the bridge, have the crow's nest somewhere here at the front, and... Do we want any weapons at the top? Probably not. Adding some decorations now. It's a very weird shape, I admit, so I'm probably going to change it up a little bit more than that. But it has everything I really want. It just has the rifle, it has some cannons, it has enough command for one command every four seconds, which is alright. It's decently quick, especially in comparison to the other craft, and it has a decently high service ceiling. So this is more of a general purpose kind of cannon craft, if a bit less armoured than the other variants. So that's the ship for now then, I've just called it the Enforcer, and this will be our very first ship we design. We're going to design a lot more throughout this game, don't you worry, this is literally our starter ship. A little bit faster than the other ship, with a bit more vulnerability, but yeah, the extra speed is going to be a big deal. This craft is incredibly slow, which is honestly a big problem now with these maps. Okay, a lot of our enemies are already building multiple things, so I probably do want some more money, to be perfectly honest. So I'm going to build a port, so I'm investing in some extra money. The port will provide an extra 10 income, which is very, very much needed, since we don't have any extra economy at all within our borders at the moment. Now, we do have the incense, and we are trading with these guys. Right, it's you? Yeah. So we're good friends with Guildfield. Dragon Bridge is going to be the one that we go to war with eventually. They are weaker at the moment, so if I make an ultimatum... Grr, I want war. 18% chance... Hmm. Oh, do they already have a defense pact with someone? Who's Opad? That, oh, that's really annoying. Okay, we need to find someone who doesn't instantly have a defense pact. Okay, so the Enforcer is built. What we're going to do is move that over to here. And then we're going to attack the pirates. That's our goal at the moment. Also, can we get a trade deal with our neighbours towards the east? Yes, we can. Beautiful. So, I'll give us some gold, and as they get richer, we'll get more gold as well. Things are looking alright. Once I get there, we'll share the supplies and go and attack the pirates. Ooh. Oh. Uh, select both, please. We'll go and attack the pirates. So, a couple of things. I didn't realise that the original craft is so much more expensive than the new one, and it's only half of the speed. So yeah, that's the major difference between the two. The new one is a lot cheaper and faster, but doesn't have anywhere near the firepower. Ooh, what's that? Diplomatic offer from Dragon Bridge. Non-aggression pact. You receive tribute. Oh, I really wanted to attack you. But tribute's pretty awesome. I have to accept that. We've got some rebellion currently in our main, in our main city because of spies. So yeah, a little bit more money would be very nice. How fast is that ground vehicle you have? Guildfield has the ultimate speed boost, apparently, currently going on. Okay, it's dark as anything, so I can't really see. Okay, they're pirates, so if I'm correct, they probably have borders. And yeah, those are like boarding craft. I can't see any normal weapons on them. So I'm going to move our units behind this rock. That will actually help quite a lot. It'll get in the way of them. And both fire on the one closest, please. It is dark. Oh, and there's something else. Oh, there's also a building. Should have zoomed out a bit more. Wouldn't have really changed my, my uh, choices there, but still, should have checked. Okay, going for accuracy here. Don't waste ammo in the dark. Beautiful, that fire should hopefully cause some proper damage. Okay, that's one down. That one's not going to be able to board us anytime soon. I'm still going to stay nice and far away. Stay with accurate fire. You know, I'll move down a bit now. Yeah, time to start moving forward. Our accuracies are so limited by the fact it's night time. I can board from the floor if I if I recall correctly, so what I should do is move up a bit. There we go, didn't get close enough, fantastic. Okay, now aim for the thing actually firing at us. Our balloons are about to go down, we have a lot of injuries on our uh, 
the new craft, but the original craft's doing well. In that case, I'm moving forward just a little bit, so you don't end up destroying the other one if you do fall that out of the sky. Is there any other weapons on the other side? Yeah, there's still just as so many weapons on the other side. Out of ammo. Almost out of ammo. Good to know. Cannons are very, very hungry for ammo. Yep, they could board from the ground. I thought this was over, though. Whoops. Either way, a victory. 3,000... Wow. Well, we took some damage, and I definitely made a few bad choices there, but that was 100% worth it. I'm going to build two more enforcers, then. Okay, yeah, so one problem, clearly, there is they don't really have enough ammo. I will update the design soon to have just, you know, a, a small ammo store in addition. Ugh, the brigands are attacking us. At least we know what their forces are now. Oh, that's dreadful. What's that automatic defense here? It's just... It's nothing. It's rifles. We'll, we'll lose. Uh, attackers are looting the city while your fleet is occupied. If you withdraw, your defences will be spared, but the city will be thoroughly looted. I mean, I was going to lose either way, sadly. Yes, I accept. Yeah, we need to take out those brigands then as soon as possible. I mean, currently it is minus 8 income, just as a passive. Oh. Okay, one of the other empires has dealt with the brigands for us. Of course, that means they've got something out of it. It wasn't a purely kind act. Oh my god, this craft is so slow. Yes, it's a lot more powerful than the one we've quickly hobbled together, but that one is insane. Cobbled together is what I was meant to say there. So who do we even go to war with? The Blue Empire is probably the one we go to war with first, then just because we have a trade agreement with the East and the North. We have a non-aggression pact and some extra money coming in from this group. So the Blue and the Purple groups. Breadbasket there is actually really nice. Uh, I've recently got a lot more respect for that. Extra damage from explosives, not really going to be too much use for us. Steel is cheaper, and everything else cheaper as well. Where's the rest of your empire? Oh, it's just very tiny, it's just kind of crushed there. I would like that as well. We should be fairly strong soon. That additional bit of money we got at the start. Defensive pact, yep, I completely agree. We and Guildfield are going to be one. So that's our fleets currently. Just need to repair some of them. Do I attack Speltford? They are liked, the Empires. Whoa, that is some serious reputation. Jeez. How about you? Nothing. How about you? Nothing. Evil Conqueror, weaker. Yeah, we could go to war with them. We don't get any extra bonuses, but it would give us a bit more income, which right now we desperately, desperately need. So we've gone to war, they are weaker than us apparently, and we're going straight to their capital, a very risky move indeed. And I'm going to send out a spy to this one over here. I want to see what's going on with that group, the liked one. Okay, a bit nervous here. Okay, the light's in our eyes, which is really bad for us. Okay, so these are either borders or bombs. I can't see the bomb back. I'm thinking borders again, actually. As for their physical defenses... So cannons down there, rifle... Okay, so I think if we get behind them, outside of this little rifle here, that's probably for our benefit. Yeah, everything's going to run forwards. So I'm going to have them all... Basically, right there at the start. You're just going to stay low to avoid them for the time being. Okay. The borders are the bigger concern. Just move there, please. Swap you to accurate. So I'm using this one to cover the other's advance, basically. Or which didn't move just then. Okay, so they just move there. Looks like they don't have much more command than we do, but we are so much slower. A lot hits them, not much happening. 
They have decent steel armor, annoyingly. Okay, once again, back to accurate. Looks like they're mostly trying to harass our main vehicle, which makes complete sense, honestly. Just keep on moving. Don't let them have a stationary target, please. And then, you know what, ramming speed, try to get over there. We need to learn the hotkeys again. Yes! One on fire. Oh, that was beautiful. Okay. Well. Actually, target that one. That's only on fire in the backwards, I think. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Just pure glorious chaos. Just what I always wanted. Yeah, no point moving these guys down. This will just be finished off in a moment by itself. A glorious victory. We'll do a gentle takeover. That is fantastic. Peace treaty from... Qu uh, I can't accept that. Oh, more unrest again. A new age dawns. Lovely. Unrest again on our main building. That's really irritating. Uh, so... Oh, trade treaty. I said peace treaty. Here's the thing, though. You get negative points if you go to war with someone. And, um... Oh, they're weaker because they're currently... At w uh, actually, why are they so much weaker? I am on hard difficulty. I double-checked. Okay, you're similar strength. You're si Okay, so just a few empires aren't having a great start, basically, is what's happening here. I want that turtle dove graveyard desperately. I also want that tea, because of course I do, I'm British. So yeah, I can't do the trade treaty, because when I, once I go to war with them, that will annoy them and annoy everyone else. So, one thing though, design ship, we have just got something brand new, something utterly beautiful. We have bigger cannons, which should hopefully have more of an impact. Where are Oh, it's the Imperial- Oh, Lord, it is a big cannon after all. It's the Imperial cannon. And with our increased damage as well. That thing is just going to go through everything. Okay. We obviously need to build a craft revolving around an Imperial cannon. The question is, should we build a tank or an aircraft? So, I'll leave this till the next video. So please, any suggestions for either a land craft or aircraft version with the Imperial cannon, I would be very much pleased with. For now, though, I want to finish off this war. So let's just go and conquer the other um, smaller settlements. Oh, we fired one, so instantly surrendered. Yeah, that makes sense. Victory. And let's charge the last one as well. Uh, gentle takeover for everything. We don't want any negatives to us. Ooh, what's happening over there? Okay, so the orange is expanding by the looks of things. Why is everyone sending their spies to Laftopia? I'm guessing the same will happen again, right? Yeah. And that is the war over. That's their empire gone. And we now have access to tea. Plus 5% city income, plus 20% income from trade treaties. Disabled, okay, yeah, currently disabled due to ongoing takeover. The drink of empires, vast fields of leaves to be brewed into an invigorating drink. It's not a very British thing to say, but I'm actually more of a coffee person, really. So here's the thing, although it seems like there's a lot of weak empires around than there are, there are also a lot of strong empires arising. Guildford is equivalent to us, Slough over here is actually stronger than us apparently, and Zangor is equal as well. So it seems like, although we have a very good start here, everything's going okay, there are definitely villains on the rise. Including us, I would think. Well... That is definitely a giant landed enemy. I didn't expect it to be this big, and now I'm rethinking my choices. You know what? Let's not do that. Let's just hobble back for a second, and I'll wait until I have at least one more craft. 
We now also have heavy cannons, so both of the cannon types I really wanted are now ours. So next then I'm going to go back into trying to get some money. I would very much like the factories. I've been really heavily investing in all of our buildings, so we have lots of field stations, markets, everything else. I'm moving my fleets here to really attempt the an enemy. I think I'm going to have one more. Then after that, we're going to lose a lot of ships to this fight, and then we can start recreating better ones. Yeah, so we have the heavy cannons, we have the- Oh, the bombards are affected! Of course they're cannons, look at them! Ooh, that seems very interesting, that lovely blast damage. That's cool. But yeah, we now have the heavy cannons, which is one of my favourite. We have the grape shot cannons. There's loads of stuff now we can use, loads of different cannon types. I definitely want at least one imperial cannon type, though. So I'll build one more Enforcer, then we'll go after the enemy, and then we'll have to redesign and start recreating some other ones probably in the next video. You know what, I'm gonna risk it. It's taken too long to build the last ship, I want to attack this thing, I am going with everything. I can only assume it's gonna be about as strong as the old Corpse Plant, or Razor Plant, or whatever it's called. So let's see, so... Obviously last time we just ran. It's snowing, what does that do? Okay, so it puts out fires, that's good. It looks like it's gonna just snatch crew, right? So I think everything should move forwards and go to rapid fire. Go pure offense here. Is it stealing crew? It's hard to tell, okay. You go further forward than you can. It's really hard to tell what exactly it's doing. I am seeing some damage here and there. Oh no, it's just chunking our ship. Yeah, okay, it's just damaging our ship. Okay, in that case, can you please get further out? I don't want these things stacked on top of each other then at this point. Okay, that is actually a lot of damage being done. Stick with rapid fire, please. Trying to get nice and close, because I think some of our guns are the... Yeah, I think some of them are the grape shot cannons, which is something I really should have noticed a little earlier, by the way. So close you are, the better. I do love grape shot cannons. I think I'll be using those as well in the future. The heavy cannons and the grape shot cannons will probably be the main thing. Okay, it's bleeding. It's changed its appearance, so... Ooh, look at all the enforcers going down. Funnily enough, it's not attacking the main one at all. I wonder if we just got close to it, if you could avoid its damage. Or perhaps it goes from outwards in. Okay, so we lost two enforcers there. But we are victorious and we get... Reputation. Oh. <laughs> I expected to get way more for that. Okay, everyone, please limp home. Now that's weakened us somewhat. We've lost um, two of our ships, but definitely worth it. Ooh, there's a forest there. Great forest. Wooden armor cost minus... And then minus 10% ship cost. But no, what I really want is that turtle dove graveyard. Well, this is where I'm going to be calling the episode for now. Clearly, certain forces are making themselves known. The east there are definitely our main contender. Down at the south on the empires, despite being quite small, is apparently equivalent to us. And Guildfield, our ally, thankfully, seems to be more on our side. Ooh, and there's something I want over there as well. So it's definitely the main forces all getting their little bits of territory, with some other weaker empires sadly stuck between them. Thankfully, we appear to be one of the stronger empires. In the next video, I'll be using the heavy cannons and probably the imperial cannon. Lots of different cannon types to use, and honestly, this was just a lot of fun. Hopefully, this style of video is something you will like. And of course, with that, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Airships Conquer the Skies is a series you wish to see continued in the future. I'm either going to have the episode next out after the new year, because I will be visiting family over the next week or two, or I might be able to get one video out just before then so keep your eye on the channel things will be arriving at some point as my stammer there makes you know i'm a little bit tired at the moment moving house and still sorting things out very tiring work thank you so much for watching have a lovely day and do take care until next time goodbye